Hey there, this is Lauren Kimball with the YMCA, and I'm here to help guide you through art specialty camp. The first week, it's a two-week camp. The first week, we're going to be dealing with color theory. The second week with structural drawing and concepts. The two weeks don't necessarily need to build off of one another. They can stand independently. Um, but let's go ahead and start with week one. For day one of week one, we want to deal with color, uh, the basics of color theory and the color wheel. For the adventurers and the younger kids, we have this cool packet, which in the links below this video, you'll have all of these uh, materials available. Uh, ideally, this packet would be printed in color. My printer is only working in black and white right now. So you print these off for the kids. It's my color book. It explains the color wheel. Again, grayscale because of my printer. But it would have an image of the color wheel and explain the different colors. They would then... By the way, I take off the paper clip and separate the pages because they're going to be painting. This first project involves paint. There should be a list listed beneath this video of all the supplies you'll need for each day. Paint is going to be incredibly important for these projects. It was color week, right? So uh, important colors, the uh, adventurers are going to be like painting red, yellow, blue, and the spots. Learn what their primary colors are. <clears throat> Then they'll start learning color equations. Again, not very helpful on a grayscale, but it would be something like blue and yellow make green, and yellow and blue make... Wait, I'm sorry. You get the idea. Just It would be what you mix the primary colors to make secondary colors and how they would look. And, it, and then a little explanation of tertiary colors. And the kids would have paper plates with the primary colors, and they'd learn to mix those colors and try to paint those colors. Then you can do uh, complementary colors, the idea that colors that are opposite of each other in the color wheel appear brighter. You can have them write out the complementary colors, cut out this arrow, and using like a brass pen, they can have a little wheel that actually is maneuverable. And then finally goes into shades and tints, which is the idea of making something lighter using the color white or something darker using the color black, and then have them build kind of their own gradient scale. And then the younger kiddos, when they're done with their color book, they can create what are called color wheel flowers. And really super simple, it's just construction paper, you cut out a circle, and then you have them paint, um, paint these different colored leaves, and then create a color wheel as a flower. The instructions are in the PDF, it's really easy, and don't I didn't think it needed a video explanation, so I didn't make one. But... Uh, so the, the, again, the Adventurers, Color Book, and Color Wheel Flowers. Now for the older kids, we have um, the Create Your Own Color Wheel Assignment. So this is available in the links below. And what you're going to want to do is cut out this centerpiece and glue it to a paper plate. And then they, the, the Warriors, are going to go through and start painting their own custom color wheel. I didn't have paints, I had magic marker, so... I, I did the best I could. But they're going to have their own color wheel that they can utilize the rest of the camp week because a color wheel is a great resource. All right, so when they are done with that, you can have them begin on this puppy. This is a 3D color wheel. It looks way cooler with paint than it does with a uh, marker, but, you know, limited resource at the moment. Kind of doing this in a, as quickly as I can. Alright, so what you're going to need to create this, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this right now, is you're going to need four, here I'm going to go ahead and get the resources ready, you need four paper plates, go ahead and separate them, so each camper is going to need four paper plates, so just buy paper plates in bulk, four paper plates, and um, paper clips, and paint, and since I don't have paint at my desk, I've got magic markers. There is a PDF with instructions on how each of these need to be painted, but I understand that sometimes um, PDFs and written instructions don't always translate the best. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to, how to kind of get this going. Alright, first, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your four paper plates and have the kids fold them in uh, divisions of six. So first you're going to take a paper plate, fold it in half like so. And then once you have it folded in half, you want to fold that in half. And then you can flip it over and fold it again. 
So the idea is that when you open it, you have it divided into sections of six. Okay. And then you just repeat. Now this project, I'm not sure what the window of time is, if it's supposed to be two hours or four hours that the kids are working on art engaged projects. But this one is one that will not be completed on the Monday that you start this. This is one where the kids get to start it and then they can finish it later in the week. Kind of a buffer if any of the other projects um, get finished quickly, which they should, because some of them, some of them are, are a lot easier than others. And this they'll they'll be able to fall back and continue making their 3D color wheel. But definitely on the first day, after they've gotten um, that color wheel, the, uh, where to go? Once they've got this finished, and it's kind of their guide, they leave that off to the side to dry. And the paints that they mixed are what they're going to start using to paint these. Okay? So you got your four plates, they're all divided. And then what you're going to do is want to mark them up so that you know what you're painting. And I will go ahead and include down below a list of exactly constructing this thing. A list of exactly what you're going to want to put where. Alright, so you're going to be painting these with all of the different primary colors, with, you know, your blue, red, yellow, or blue, red, and yellow, your secondary colors, orange, green, purple, and then your tertiaries, which include things like yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, etc. Um, the first plate, and again, this is going to be in the directions, it's going to be blue. On the other side, you're going to be mix, having the kids mix a blue-green and a blue-violet. To save time, I recommend that kids team up to try to achieve a color, and then they can rotate stations and start painting their plates. That would be a great way to save on resources as well as time. Um, but painting one side blue, one side orange, uh, one side a red violet, and another side a yellow green. And then you can leave those to dry and then come back the next day. On the next day, they want to paint on the back. You're going to be doing yellow green, blue green, blue violet. I'm not going to remember all this from the video, but, but I just want you to have a visual. In the instructions, again, I'm going to tell you which plates have which color. And so the warriors will be able to work on this throughout the week. But once they have, once they have this started, um, and they've got, like, by day three and it's dry, that's when you're going to want to basically teach them how to put it together. Now, the side, that there, there's, these are going to be bowed in, meaning they're going to be kind of like this, like a little bow tie. The solid color is always going to go on the inside, the one that's got just one color on the plate and pinched together, like so. And then you're going to want to paper clip it. Now I know, like, in the video you're like, okay, I probably lost her a little bit. I'm not sure how I know which side is going to be what color. Again, you know, the PDF that's going to be included with this is going to tell you exactly where to draw the line, how to color each side. Once you have your pieces together and they've been colored, and you start pinching them off so that you've got that solid color on the inside and the two separate colors on the outside. And you're going to have them do this with all four plates. And then your job, for the most part, is done. Because it's going to be up to them next to put them in order. So what they, what you want them to do is to be thinking about this, like, okay, blue-green is going to transition into green, so I probably want these corners together. 
And then they'll use paper clips to kind of take the different corners. Ah! Paper clips to take the different corners of their bowed plates. So you can see how the green goes to blue green, and on the outside here we see blue green to green. You don't have to teach them how to do this part. They're older kids, they need to start, you know, kind of uh, thinking critically about it and being like, okay, I wonder if, no, that wouldn't match because that doesn't go there. And they're thinking, oh, wait, violet and blue violet, those are close to each other on the color wheel. Gotcha. And so it's, it's pinning corner to corner. So corner to corner, like this. and just trying to match up the transitioning colors into a cool 3D color wheel. So I highly recommend making one of these before the camp starts because once you actually start building the thing, it makes more sense. It's really hard to articulate. I hope the PDF that goes with this is gonna be helpful to you. And, uh, but this is something that's going to take multiple days to do. So day one is folding and painting one side. Day two is painting the other side. Day three is actually compiling the thing. So these are the, these are the materials for day one. And that should, um, that should take up the, the time.